What is up everybody, ADS Play 101 here and welcome to a very special review video where even though I don't do these often as I should, I feel like this is a very special one due to the fact that the person whose uh, items I'm going to be reviewing actually hit me up back in 2021. And this is during my original ADS Play 101 TikTok account. You know, obviously before the whole shenanigans and TikTok just wanted to, you know, ban that account just just because the sky was blue. But he hit me up back and I'm looking at an Instagram message that he sent me back then. It was November 13th, 2021. And I'm going to play that audio for you in a little bit. But um, as you see right here, his name is Trill Noel. And he's based out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, you know. I'm from New Orleans, so you know, off the rip, I gotta support him off of that alone, you know. But uh, at that time, you know, I, I have been hit up by a, a couple people, and it turned out to be scams and things like that. So when he first hit me up telling me about his uh, his business, I I won't say I shrugged it off, but I followed his Instagram and I kind of kept an eye on him to see what exactly he was doing you know to make sure because i got i have several instagram accounts that i used to be following and those accounts are gone because the people were up to no good but and they were trying to offer me like promotions and things like that so i'm very cautious when it comes to that or i'm gonna keep an eye on the person that's offering these promotions or whatever and or they have a business going that I may be uh, interested in buying products from just to see how long they last before I actually decide to, you know, do business with them. So last week he had a promotion going on, which is no longer. Um, I don't think he has it going any longer where he was giving out free samples. Uh, all you had to do was pay the shipping, which was like ten dollars and things like that. And he was shipping out samples of his perfumes from his company, Harmony. He's the CEO. He's the creator of this. And I believe at the time he first hit me up, I think his house had uh, was destroyed during a hurricane or during a flood or something like that. And, you know, him, his wife, his kids, you know, like they lost a lot. And from my knowledge, with the help of like friends, neighbors and family, you know, and I, I think he received some donations through either TikTok or Instagram or somewhere, or I, I don't know what the ins and outs was. And I'm pretty sure he'll be able to tell you about that if you ask him. But he was able to get back on his feet, and uh, you know, he, he was he was able to buy a house for uh, his family. You know, he was he was able to get back on his feet basically. And uh, so, so there's a good redemption story with him as well, um, a real one, and his line of fragrances uh, is very unique because you don't see things like this often you know i think the closest thing to fragrances that i've ever used was like curve and like tom ford so um this is kind of like somewhat i wouldn't say new to me but it's going back to like using fragrances again and i decided that i was going to buy from from him so during as i said he had a, an event where he was giving out samples and i received mine actually i received mine a few days ago so apologies for not getting right to this like i said i would but um because I, I did promise him a review and we're going to review those now there, there it is Let's focus on a little bit all right yeah that's vanilla marshmallow this one is called michelangelo named after the Ninja Turtle as well as the Renaissance uh, artist that uh, Michelangelo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was named after. And one is called Ching Shi. Ching Shi. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Ching Shi. And uh, we're, we're going to spray these. I'm going to give you my honest opinion on how they, how they smell. Now, he also put a few other things in here. One is kind of like a business card that kind of looks like a credit card. Let me see how well that looks. This is actually unique. I actually like this right here. I, I like the way this design. It's cool. I like it. And I think he put three fragrance sticks in here as well. Yeah. So 
they yeah, put three sticks they, they have scents on them and i don't know if this is from uh them just being in a bag with the perfumes or if they're actually dipped in the perfumes and this is what i'm supposed to be smelling or am i supposed to use these to spray on and you know smell them like that i don't know i'm assuming that's how i'm supposed to do this first things first i do want to play that message for you guys that he sent me back in 2021 and um just to give a listen to see what he had back then versus what he has now black gamer anime lover and perfumer from louisiana i have a fragrance called iron bend pretty sure you know about avatar i have a fragrance called la Bousse. And he is the person that the cryptogram in One Piece is based off of. Like, the whole anime of One Piece is based off of Oliver, or Olivier Lavasur. This is his real name. Um, then there's Dia Chan, Odin Sleep, and Loki. Now, these were the fragrances that he told me about back in, like, that's the message right there. That was the audio he sent me November 13th, 2021. So... I mean, keeping my eye on his, you know, his his Instagram and his business for a couple years now. And when he did the the samples, I was like, OK, now it's time for me to, you know, support because I feel like there's a couple cents that I'm actually want to buy from him. Um, and this is all his own sense. You know, he buys the. I don't know what to call them, like the raw sense. And he makes his own mixtures uh, in house. I think he has a lab now where he does all his mixing. Um, so yeah, like it, it is a very unique selection of a uh, sense that he has. So first things first, I'm going to take one of these. I hope I'm doing this right. I'm supposed to spray this on the little stick right here. And from there, we're going to smell it. So first up, we have the vanilla marshmallow. Let's see what we got. Ooh. There we go. Ooh, okay. There we go. Oh, wow. Because I'm, I'm getting that heavy vanilla up front. And, and the marshmallow is kind of like, almost like an after smell. Almost. But they have some other scents in there as well, like, like almost like a fruity, I don't know, it, it's there, but, but I can't put my finger on it. Because the vanilla is up front, the marshmallow is kind of like the after smell, and I don't know, I can't put my finger on what that other smell is that I'm, I'm picking up on it's good though it's good though it smells great like i'm not just saying that it actually smells great so sort of vanilla marshmallow is definitely uh a winner so next up i actually want to try the michelangelo the michelangelo is going to be the next one up so there we go all right there we go got a little bit on there let's see you probably can't even see the scent. It's like right there in the middle. Hold on, let me, let me spray some more on this because this one kind of. I like this. I like it, but it's almost like I can't pick up on what the scent is. Oh, let's go to his website real quick because I actually want to see what exactly this is. Let me see. It has scents of grape, Italian wine, sandalwood, lavender, bergamot, amber, vanilla, and coconut.
bro. This this is good. I'm low key trying to pick up on all the scents that I, that is labeled, but it's like it's kind of hard to you know. I do get the lavender. I do get the sandalwood. I low key smell the Italian uh, wine and the, the vanilla. I'm not really picking up on the grape though, but it, if I had a scent of just a grape, I don't know how to pronounce that word. That San Giovese, San Giovese grape. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. But if I had just that scent. And I was able to pick up on what it what that smells like. I could probably figure it out in the mixture of the Michelangelo. But it smells good. It smells good. I almost like I almost like this one better than the vanilla marshmallow. It, you know what? The more you smell it. And the more you try to focus on those scents that it's mixed with, the more you can pick up on more stuff. So the grape is in there. I just don't smell it as much as the other uh, scents though, but I like it. Like, like it doesn't smell bad at all. Like it's the exact opposite of, it smells great. Well, next we got the Shing Sai right there. And, uh, give me a second to spray this. Ooh. Okay. There we go right there. Oh, this one just smells lovely. I'm not even bullshitting, bro. This one. It has a heavy fruit smell to it. Let me see if I can find it on the uh, on the website. Okay. All right, get the peach in there. Like once you re once you read what the ingredients are, you can start picking up on what they are. So I do smell that that peach in there. And of course, there is some vanilla in there too. And he actually has a backstory of the woman it was named after. So she did a good. So, so he actually did a good job. Um, capturing the essence of of the woman in this. Choices of peach wine and peach rum as opening notes with a sense of tropical. Luxury and sweetness, reminiscent of sun-drenched shores and a vibrant life as a pirate. It works. Like out of the three that I got sent, none of these smell bad. Obviously, I think I got my favorites, and I'm honestly gonna give you my opinion. I'm gonna line them up in my favorite to my least favorite out of these three. At number three, I actually got the vanilla marshmallow. I like it, but because it's like up front with everything it's not as much as of a adventure trying to figure out um what's in this as it is with the other ones i like the way it smells i really like the way this smells the, the vanilla marshmallow was actually fire you know at, at number two i think i got the michelangelo the mixture of scents in here that italian wine the uh the, the vanilla and the grape that comes through good because i couldn't figure it out at first um but i think what made me put this at number two simply because i, I kind of like the peach notes of shing a lot more 
And that's just my personal preference. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I like this. It's just that I think I like the Shing Si a lot more. And I'm, or Shing Sai. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce her name. So please don't get on me. But this right here is my favorite one right here. I like the backstory of the character. I like the sense that really capture the essence um, of who she was. Real good job with this. So this is my favorite one out of the three. Uh, but all of them smell great. So if you ever get a chance to purchase from this man, uh, please do. Um, like I said, he has an incredible comeback story after losing his house and losing uh, so much to a natural disaster. Um, he did a good job getting back on his feet, of course, with the help of friends and whomever. And he was able to rebuild himself up to where he at right now. So I know I will be buying some of these. I want to try out some of the other ones. And I think he has some sample packs as well that I'm going to uh, buy out. Uh, that I'm going to purchase. So he has uh, sample packs where you can pick, I believe, like any of the available fragrances that he has. I will be buying this and I'm going to review those as well because it was a few that he told me about in the message that he sent me on instagram back in 2021 i actually want to try those out to see how well they smell because those were like his flagship uh scents so without a shadow of a doubt good job noel um i'm looking forward to seeing how far you take harmony um great sense a very unique blend of uh perfumes and um, I can't wait to see what you do next, man. And I, like I said, I will be purchasing from you again very, very soon. And I'm going to review those as well. So, you know what I'm saying? Just uh, keep an eye out for my my name in the um, once I make the purchase. So, uh, thank you. Appreciate the samples. Um, and appreciate for, for you to actually get in, getting it out in a timely fashion as well that shows you really care about your business and your and your consumers um but with that being said man i'm gonna put these away and i'm gonna wear these at an appropriate time because i don't want to um use them all up but they all smell real real good and uh i'm actually gonna have to purchase for him again because if the rest don't smell unique like these then i'm gonna be a very happy customer so with that being said man thank you guys for watching this review of harmony perfumes um in the future you will see me do another review of this gentleman's uh perfumes and uh i'll see you guys next time peace